Hi, I'm Ivy, the Executive Wedding Planner of Dream Wedding and today I'd like to share with you how can you plan your overseas trip better in terms of getting cheap air tickets. Besides signing up for a newsletter from your favourite airlines such as SQs or Scoots, another alternative actually you can check on the agent platform. The agent platforms such as Skyscanner, cheaptickets.com.sg when you check on the size scanner, probably for example the trip to Paris, you will be able to see in one glance that which are the airlines that provide the cheapest air ticket. However, don't buy from Sky Scanner because getting from the direct source, example SQ, it will be much more cheaper compared to buying from Sky Scanner. Okay, for example, for some budget airlines, they do have promotions on every week. Okay, such as Scoot, they're having a promotion on every Tuesday morning from 7 to 9. Jetstar is every, having like Friday frenzy on every Friday 11 to 6. So probably you can catch the cheapest ticket to Taiwan or, or Seoul during these two periods. However, you need to do a homework before that. You need to try on your travel dates on their normal platform first. For example, if let's say you are traveling between 5th to 10th of September to Taiwan, now probably you can check on the air tickets, probably the price will be a $300 to $400. So during the promotion period, you will be able to know that whether is there a promotion going on. If let's say the price fall below $300, then you can grab it. If not, then probably you want to wait for the next promotion to get the cheapest air ticket. If you are traveling between Europe, within Europe itself, actually you should check on their budget airlines. The price will be slightly cheaper compared to buying from Singapore direct to that location. For example, you are planning to go over to Paris, London or Holland, you can check on their airfare from Paris to London or you can take actually a train or you rent a car from there. So it's much more cheaper compared to buying direct from Singapore to London or Open Jaw. Open Jaw ticket actually means for that you are traveling, for example, from Singapore to Paris and come back from London. So this type of air ticket was slightly much more higher because they consist of the different country taxes. Thank you for watching Interview Tuesday. You have any questions regarding on your wedding planning? Do send us your questions so that it will be a next topic for your interview Tuesday.